Chapter 4. Emperor Ming, rejoicing in the belief that Flash and his party have been destroyed, intercepts a radio message from Flash to his father, saying he has discovered Polarite, an antidote for the death dust with which Ming is bombarding the Earth. Ming, enraged and knowing his soldiers cannot survive the intense cold of Phrygia, sends Torch against the expedition with an army of mechanical men charged with explosives, which Torch can control and explode from his ship. Deep in the frozen waste, the walking bombs attack the expedition and... You've got to. It's our only chance. I've got to destroy him. Ling won't forgive another failure. I'll either forfeit if I don't. We have had an escape from Ming when the Earthmen visited Mongo before. Ming will stay as much for Dale alive as he will for Zarkov. Be careful, don't let the Annihilus and drop her. They've got Dale. Come back! You'll be blown to atoms! Explode the Annihilus. Kill the girl? Oh. I've got a trick worth two of that. Thousand mingos to you and me. Flash! 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 Where's Dale? Dale? I don't know. All I could see was Iron Man. There was an explosive that knocked me out. Well, by the trash, they've gone in that direction. Flash is dead. Killed in the explosion. You and the good doctor are on your way to the palace of Ming the Merciless. He's always wanted both of them. Pilot, get underway. Better destroy his arc of ship first. No. It's too valuable to destroy. We have no pilot capable of flying it but myself. We'll return for it after we deliver our prisoners and collect our reward. Ronald, what happened? Where's Dale? The mechanical men got her. Zarkov and I tried to stop them and... They must have gotten Zarkov too. It's Ming's ship. They're carrying off Dale and Zarkov. Let's go after them in our ship. No, I can't do it. You're not going to let them run off with Dale? Dr. Zarkov? Ming will kill him. Yes, I know all that. And I love Dale and Sarkoff more than anyone can know. But there are only two lives. While on Earth, millions of people are facing death in the path of the Purple Plague, unless Ming is stopped. Now, I've got to take Polarite to the Earth first. Then I'll come back and settle with Ming. While the Purple Death still rages, there has been a marked abatement in the number of deaths. We believe this may be due to the activities of Professor Zarkov and my son Flash Gordon on the planet Mongo. Further news will be broadcast to you the moment it is received. We again beg you to remain calm in this crisis. There was no need to raise the hopes of the people without some scrap of proof. You have no foundation for your surmise that the drop in the death rate is due to anything but natural causes. One of it, if it keeps up the morale of the crowd. Besides, the last word we heard from Flash was that they mean to put a stop to the purple death. And when Zarkov and Flash undertake a thing, I don't have it. Yes? The son Flash is calling on the radio. Come quickly. Flash! Hello, Dad? 
Yes, we found large deposits of polarite in the kingdom of Phrygia, far north of Mongo. As you know, polarite particles attract and neutralize the dust dust in the same manner that the human brain reacts upon it. We now have enough polarite to destroy all the death dust that men can turn loose. So, you wanted proof, did you, you old crab? Well, there you have it. Polarite. Loads of it. The salvation of the world. I'm going to drop the polarite at the top of Mount McKinley. It will attract all the death dust to that particular spot and destroy it. Close in. 